do the place command with Yoshi and Amelia. So with Amelia, I don't have a slip leash on her, so you're gonna see that we lose control of the session, um, and she checks out. So if your dog completely checks out during a session, um, you wanna just call it a session. Don't continue to work with your dog if they just, just go off, because then you're going to reinforce that behavior. So um, call it a session, you can say all done, you can clip a collar onto them to clear distinction to let them know that it's over with and a double click is that terminal marker off. Um, we also are starting to increase their desire to stay on it longer um, by adding a little bit of leash pressure to it as well. So if they start to get off of the place board, um, with Yoshi you'll see, I use a little bit of leash pressure, nothing too crazy if he gets off, and as soon as he's back on the board, I'm going to reward him, not if he gets off and back on right away. Uh, we're rewarding more for the focus and engagement. Um, sometimes when he gets back on the board, he wants to smell around a little bit, and I'm not going to mark that behavior because I want him still engaging with me even though he's on the place. Uh, we're also introducing the treat and train. So this is an automatic treat dispenser we use for grooming purposes and also as a reward that's away from you, which eventually this can be a toy that's dead on the ground as well. So that way your dog's not always coming to you for that reward. Uh, again, we can start doing this more as recalls away or if we want to send them to something and it's just another arsenal in your toolkit. So uh, we're using get it to go get it. Uh, they haven't been conditioned to the noise of the tree and train yet. And then you'll also see that I kind of help them out and target them to the tree and train as well. It's important too to start talking out loud, opening up doors, bending down, increasing the criteria. I even toss out some food for Yoshi as well. Um, the first time he goes to break it, so I ensure that he doesn't get to it. We don't want your dog thinking that they're faster than us, so don't toss that food too close. Um, make sure that your body, you can stop them and or the leash. But every day, expect a little bit more, and now that we've started to use the leash as a communication tool, it, it makes sure that you can hold your dog accountable to holding the positions. The world is full of distractions and only using, you know, shaping and luring in your food is only gonna go so far. You're not in a lab in a bubble. Um, so teaching them to respond to light leash communication is important to set you and your pup up for success for the rest of their life. All right, true test. Who's gonna get on first? <laughs> oh! oh. This is a keen dog.
This is Buckeye, a three month old lab pup who is with us for a puppy jump start and his first time shaping the place board. You can see here that I'm looking for him to think on his own. Shaping behaviors is a great way to have your dog think independently versus you guiding them into the behavior. So we will just stand there like a statue and we will incrementally reward for success of approximation. So if he looks towards the board, steps towards the board, I'm going to double click and either toss a piece of food out for allow him to chase after it, or I'm gonna have him come back into my hand for that piece of food. It's important that it's not only one piece of food when you're marking your behavior, that you vary up that reward. And sometimes it's an entire handful. Sometimes you move, allowing him to chase after you. So that way your dog really looks at that terminal marker as something extremely rewarding and unpredictable. Just like playing the lottery, you don't know what you're gonna get and that's the fun of it. Same thing with your marker. As you see here, I add a little bit of distance when he goes away from me. So it's a little bit of a challenge. I'm not as close to the board here. Again, try not to guide your dog into the behavior, allow them to think and then reward. At this stage, Buckeye wanders around for a little bit and doesn't re-engage with the board. So I call it a session, all done. I pick up the board so I don't miss him going to it. And we're being crystal clear that if he checks out and kind of gives up on offering up positions, that the session is over with. So if you guys have any questions, feel free as always to ask below and hope that you continue to enjoy the progress of Yoshi and Amelia.